Hi and welcome back to Unreal Engine Tutorial. I'm going to start by clicking on the launch. And there we go. The Unreal Editor is getting initiated. Okay, we are here now on the Unreal Project Browser. In here we have some blueprint template and I'm going to select this first person shooter or this very first person right there. You can also select either that of C++, but I intend to use the blueprint. So I'm going to select this. Now let's come in here, desktop and console. So I'm going to select desktop and console. Next thing is to select the maximum quality. And then we select start with starter content. Okay, let's give our project a name. So I'm going to call it first project and let's click on create right there and there we go our system is getting ready okay my first person blueprint is ready five Play it for you guys. You see how the first person blueprint look like. I believe you must have seen that on my previous tutorial. So you always put with your with your mouse and then move around. Okay, just pan around with the mouse. Okay, I'm going to press Escape just to stop it from. Uh, Okay, well, what I intend to do is to start a new project right here. Come straight to okay in the file. We select new level, and what we want is to select the default right there. I'm gonna click on the default, and there we go, guys. So, what I'm gonna do now is I'll go straight into the geometry right inside the geometry. We get the following components. So, I'm gonna select the box drag the box let me place it right at the edge there somewhere there or maybe even drag it up and just press end okay let the end get it down properly all right so what i'm going to do now is to change the coordinate here the x axis let's change that to to 20 and you press enter you see what happened there so the next thing I will do is I'm going to hold it, hold down the Alt key and just click and drag across. You see that guys? So that is one and another one here. We have two, three, one more here. And I think we might be able to fit one in here okay so in total i think i should have about five there okay so i'm going to select it all hold down the control and just click all right so let's say we have about five there okay the next thing i want to do is now hold down the alt key and click and drag dash you get it up there okay now press end you see it is settled right on top of the very first layer okay the next thing I like to do now I'm gonna maybe copy another one or okay let's come in here let's grab one here okay, right there we have one here so we need to change the the coordinate of this if the first one was x axis so i think this should be y let's see i think it's going to be y i'm going to change that to 20 very good that's the y axis so let's push it in a little bit and maybe drag it up and press end and make sure yeah it's right down there drag it down to join side with the other one okay now I'm going to now hold down the Alt key and just copy. I have one here, another one here. 
undo that try it again we have about three three walls there yeah okay the space in between the oh the right idea where it says set the position grid snap value as 10. It, I think 10 is all right for me but uh, let's move it back a little bit and add two more yeah okay so I have that's about two three and four there they are anyway okay so I'm now going to copy it across now press on the alt key and just copy across you see that right so maybe I should even okay build it up here and alt key and bring one to this side as well right okay let's have a look at these very ones here those ones I need to copy them as well so let's copy that right so let's click and there what we need to bring that here right there okay this is how my structure looks right now let's just have a go at it and see. So let's move around you can see you can see how dark this side one two those two sides are so we're going to have to add some lighting into places like this okay press escape all right so you see this dark area we maybe let's do one thing first let's increase the wall first okay i'm just going to select all of those wall the ones on top hold down the shift key and click the the control just click then hold the alt key just drag maybe right up there press end that's good okay i'm going to repeat the same thing for this side of the wall Let's, i just want to make sure i get it all right so come in here all right alt drag it up right there press end that's fine okay let's repeat the same thing for the other ones okay i've selected this side of it of the wall and the very side of the wall there's one more here in the middle now now hold down to the alt key and just drag it up okay right there and just press end okay now we have the whole wall must be the same now so let's go in and you see so if i play it again let's just, just move around okay. you see all this dark part of the wall i'm going to add some lighting in there so here's i'll just press l at the edge there press l and click see you press letter L and click. Let's repeat the same thing for this side of the wall. Press letter L and click. So that should brighten up those side. Let's repeat the same thing for up here. Okay, L, click. All right, so that side of the wall is taken care of. And this side of the wall, let's do that here as well press l click and maybe one at the far end here yeah. l and click all right so if i run it now that should look a little bit brighter let's just move around you see that guys it's a little bit brighter now so far better than what how it was before okay 
now the next thing we want to do is maybe we should just get we should just get add a roof to it or let's add a door first maybe a door and a window so what i intend to do is let's come in here yeah i think this place might be an id place select that and let's select this other one hold down the control so that we can select both okay that's 34 and the other one is 29 so i need 34 and 29 okay so you come in here select both together 29 and 34 and you look for the brush settings right here see brush type instead of additive i'm going to select subtractive okay you see there's a dot there already all right so maybe we should repeat the same thing for maybe here let's create a window yeah maybe here and here two windows one here and one here okay that's 23 brush 23 and 25 because you will not see the property here so it's advisable you just come in here select 23 okay and you hold down the control select 25 brush 25 and repeat exactly the same thing to get your windows in place so those are my windows in place now the next thing i want to do is see the the floor i'm going to now click and hold you see press alt key okay drag that's the floor let me move it so that you can see it that's the floor i've already selected the floor you select the floor with the select and translate object this very one okay not this one or this this is used to adjust the whole system the shape of whatever object you want to reshape but this is the one i want okay i will now hold down the alt key pull it down drag okay and you see how you create your own roof that's my roof right there and see it the roof is right on top of my building or on top of my structure but the other thing is you can see this area is a little bit dark now so what we do is maybe before we continue i should just add some component on board first to do that i'll come right in here you see where it says content select content okay the next thing i'll do is let's move this up a little bit and what i need is the starter let's look for the starter content yeah there we go all right Okay, and you can also move with this arrow right there. So I have my starter content there. Let's move it, take it up a little bit more. Okay, and um, let's move this up a little bit here. That's fine. Okay, now I'm going to add the following. You see this chair, click and drag, let's paste it there. I also we need some order. Let's move down. Where's the table? I need a table somewhere. There we go. That's a table there. Drag it and let's paste it right here. Let's move this up and press F. Uh, press end. Okay, where's my table? Where has it disappeared to? Let's see. There was no table selected. Okay, let's try that again. That's my table. Now I'm going to move it here. Let's bring it here. All right. We have a table there. There may be one more chair. Let's grab one more chair and just paste it right here. And we need to turn this chair around okay now okay to turn this chair around we're going to have to select this that says select and roll objects click on that and you see 
Let's turn it around and right there. You see, we've changed the axis and right there. So we'll now use this select and translate object so that to move it closer to the chair and use this to drag it nearer or position the chair properly. Okay. Okay. Um, the next thing is let me add this ceiling lamp. So I'm going to grab that very lamp. Let's see if we can move it way up there. Okay, first thing first. Let's drag this down a little bit so that we can see what we're doing. Let's move that lamp way up there. Okay, that's my lamp up there. And let's just play it and see. Let's see how it all looks like. Okay, guys, this is how it all looks right now. Okay, we've in this tutorial I've covered how to create windows, doors, add furniture, lights. Okay, those are the lights that we added using L and click. Then we also added a lamp. So with that, I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial for now, and I'll see you guys in the other tutorials. Thanks for watching and please do subscribe. Bye for now. Bye.